Welcome back to another K-Core for Myers online tour. Today I'm going to show you this new construction golf access home located in Cape Coral. And this home has a story. Well, the story is that uh, we sold this house uh, without even the buyer seeing it. Okay. Uh, the way that we did it was the buyer calls up. He said he was interested in Cape Coral. He saw one of our videos. He became a subscriber. And... Uh, he, we set him up with a MLS portal. That's the portal that my wife sets up all our subscribers that are interested in buying. That's directly from our MLS. So you get the latest information of homes being sold in Cape Coral and Fort Myers in Southwest Florida. So, uh, so our buyer found this home and he said, can you please go take a look at it and see what stage it is? So we went ahead, we did a, a video showing them the, the stage of the house and more or less the layout of what we had to show and they liked it so they went ahead and purchased the home and what we did is we did a video for them every week until completion until cl closing that they probably they show up a couple of days after closing to see the home okay so let me show you a little bit about everything that took place during this uh, during this uh, process okay right here this is the first time uh, we went to look at the property this was the condition that the house was when he actually decided to purchase the home it was kind of uh, still under construction and as you see inside is is no outlets no electrical outlets no AC vents, uh, no electricity. That's why the video is so so dark. Okay, and uh, you can see the bathrooms. You know, without the that's the guest bathroom without the mirror. You know, without lights. Over here, that's the master bedroom. You can see it's all without outlets. Here's the master bath, also without no mirrors and uh, they were working on the shower and uh, you see the shower working on it then over here you get to see you know the pool was still you know not they had no water in it there was no system hooked up to it the backyard was just dirt so and actually over here the dock didn't have uh, the controls so he, you know, he had a lot of, we, we went, you know, and took that video. Then from that video, they decided to buy the house. And then we came up the next week after they purchased the home. And we did this other video showing them that finally they got lights. <laughs> okay. They have the outlets in. The pool, they were still working on it. It was still not full of water. And you can see it now. They already put the mirror in the bathroom and... The, you know the shower was completed this is the mud room there was uh, just they just built that up and uh, it just needs paint now and then we went into the garage that was whole full of materials and stuff and then we moved uh, to the outside and you see now that is the grass is there so now we came on following week and we found the appliances the pool was already filled with water the appliances were, were inside the house and now we come out the following week and uh, this week we find that everything it's where it's supposed to be and you got the mud room and mirrors everything started to look like a home now and they have those blue tapes that they put everywhere for for them to check you know for the imperfections we actually put a lot of blue tape on also things that we saw so the builder could uh, fix it up too and as you see here, the house was cleaned up already. And they also uh, installed all the electrical for the dock and also the setup for the heat pump. We recorded approximately over two hours of video for them to be able to see the whole process. Okay, so um, now I want you just to uh, take a look at the home finished and see how beautiful the home looks now. Good morning, this is, I'm Renata Menendez and Luis Menendez is the one uh, filming this. 
We are here, we're from Berkshire Hathaway and we are here uh, at a customer's house. It's a beautiful, brand new golf access home. We're gonna meet our customer and, uh, and show you the house. So come on in. Hello. Hello, good morning, Mark. This morning. is Mark, and uh, he's the proud owner of this beautiful golf access home. Uh, he purchased this house when it was being built. So we did some videos of the progress of the home, and now it's ready and all furnished. He's gonna place the house um, into a seasonal rental. So this home will be available with one, two, three Cape. Correct. Uh, and uh, he's gonna show us around and tell us a little bit how was the process to buy the house. Hopefully, it was, it was a good one. It was. And the house turned out to be beautiful, and we're gonna go around and show you the home. So, the process started about two months ago. Of course, it was being built and um, purchased the home uh, prior to being completed. Okay. You all decided to uh, provide videos every Sunday of my updates since I'm yeah. not from Florida, so yeah. a little bit different. Uh, to see the build, what was happening, what was going on, which was great because every Sunday I knew in the afternoon I would be able to see a video where they were at, what was going on, okay. how long before we were going to close. So those updates uh, were fantastic. We were able to give me a good view, and uh, my wife a good view of what was happening. Um, and then we made it through the process and in December we closed. And I've been here for about a month getting everything ready. Um, and we're kind of finally done. Just a few minor things that we're just tweaking a little bit here and there. Uh, before we rent with one two three Cape for the season, and, so I'll take uh, you and I don't know if I told you, but make sure it's Cape Coral, Florida. That's where this beautiful home yeah. is. So we're gonna On the go southeast side. In the southeast side, next direct to everything. Yeah, next close to everything and direct golf access. So Mark, show us the house. Okay. So we'll start over here in the kitchen. Um, we've got plenty of room here. Switch. My printer's there right now for work since I've been kind of working remote. Uh, while well, I've been getting everything ready. But um, you have seating for basically eight, um, all set up there. You also have the kitchen, which you have in another additional four seats, um, if you have additional people there for, for additional eating at that point in time. So we've got the living room set up. We've got a 75 inch TV on the wall um, with streaming cable for whoever's gonna be here, whether it's myself or uh, whether it's guests or rentals. Um, so they've got everything set up. High speed fiber optic wire uh, internet, so the speed's great. I'll take you into the master first uh, okay. after the living room, and then we'll go into the other rooms. This is basically a 4 2, um, and we've taken the fourth den area and made it into a, uh, a theater room plus a queen cabinet bed. But taking you through here, um, we've got leveler blinds throughout the whole house. Um, the master is bathroom is absolutely monstrous. Walk-in shower, and you have everything you need here. Dual sinks um, from that standpoint, and so everything's all set up. And I know it's really a spacious yeah. master. Bathroom. Sliding doors throughout the home, everywhere. So everything is a sliding door. So no matter where you're at, you can go ahead and slide the doors. Makes it nice and very simple. Yep. Um, as I mentioned, we have sandstone um, blinds throughout the house. Um, very big closets. Almost too big in some cases. <laughs> so, um, this one here is pretty much empty. I've kept some stuff in there while I've been here. Um, just some few minor things before I depart the home here in the next week. So, and then we're back into the master, plenty of space, you have plenty of natural light uh, coming through the window up there. Uh, 65 inch TV in here, same thing, streaming cable, anything you want. You also have access to the pool area through yeah. the sliding doors. So um, if you want to go out that way, you can do it that way. If you want to go out through the, the sliding doors out here, take you through that here when we hit the outside. Kitchen, all set up. You've got pretty much everything you need to put away. You've got your toasters, you really wanted the coffee machine is up at this point in time. Your high-speed dishwasher, 
refrigerator here. We'll talk about the refrigerator in the mudroom um, when we head back up towards the garage towards the end. Um, so you have full visibility to TV, anything you want to do, um, workstation power up that's on granite cabinets, anything you need. So it was a great setup from the builder. Um, so Yeah, it's a great entertaining kitchen. Yep. For... So you've got full visibility of everything, you've got full visibility of the sunlight. We'll take you outside and kind of show you what's going to be out there and what the plan is in there in the future for that. Okay. Going into the next room, here's the, the big den, or the fourth room if you want to call it like that. And what we have here, um, of course, is we have a 75 inch TV, a couple giant bean bags, um, you know, some blankets, throw blankets. You have your recliners for your theater seats, but you also have your queen cabinet bed here. Um, took me you know, a few minutes to open it up, but uh, very simple to open it up. Just basically pop off the sides, it comes all the way up. You've got your draw with everything you need in there, and you're set up, and it's perfectly for it's, another bed. I know. It's absolutely uh, beautiful. Uh, instead of a high Murphy bed, we went with the cabinet bed, made the room look a little bit better, uh, and maintain some space. It's beautiful. So in here we have our second bathroom, which we call it the turtle room. Uh, turtle bathroom, kind of set up that way. So um, take a look, you got everything in here that you need. Um, all the decor, pretty much all set up. You have access through this door to get to your pool area also. You have all your beach towels and everything in the cabinets, your regular towels associated with everything you might need to go out there to the pool, so it's, it's great. Then we have a kid's room here for another bedroom. Um, a couple twin beds, uh, nice little setup. Just, just kept it nice and plain because you do have a theater room right next door. So um, from that standpoint, and kids need to go out there, um, take a look around, they can do that. So this setup was really nice from that standpoint of how we wanted to do the room and from this house. It has a nice um, walk-in closet. Yeah, it has a, has a very big walk-in closet again. Pretty much throughout the house, you have very large, slides right back down. You have your walk-in closets um, from that standpoint. And then we'll the switches a little bit. So we'll figure things out here. <laughs> um, so yeah, giant closet in here, you put plenty of stuff in from that standpoint. Everything you need, additional sheets, everything that's required for us for seasonal, for folks that yep. come in. Um, we'll probably add a little decor probably next time when we come back in a little bit more. Um, it was just availability of time, what we had setting up the house. And then we have the queen guest room here um, with access. A couple of blinds, as I mentioned. Small TV, gives you access to everything. Um, access to the pool area. Um, pretty nice. Get the same thing, closet very big. Walk you through the home. The home is 2,300 square feet. So pretty much got plenty of room. You got everything you need here. Um, additional sheets, just some pillows, anything that we thought was, was needed. And like I said, we'll probably add a little more decor uh, coming up when we're back down for the next visit as we find more things that are kind of a, a fit and match of what we want to do for the home. Wow. It looks beautiful. So the other thing too, all the, all the rooms, as I mentioned, have fans, uh, remotes. Basically, you can control it as long as your power switch is on the wall. You can, Turn it on and off, whatever you so choose. Um, so if you're you know, sleeping and you get a little warm or whatever, you want to turn up the fan, you can easily just do it from remote. You don't have to get up out of bed. It's very simple, you just keep your remote beside the bed. And when you're done, you just go ahead and put it back in the location. Pretty much standard there, so I know. nice and easy, <laughs> simple. So that's throughout the house. We all basically, the fans are all matched up to the slinger fan in the living room, which was part of the build. Um, which will take us to outside here in just a second. So you have a 72 inch slinger fan that's there. And then we also have a match 72 inch slinger fan out there in the uh, lanai. And you have the access to open up all of it, all the windows if you want. So if you've got a nice cool day like today and you don't have the AC on, you just want to run everything across, you can go ahead and open it all the way up. Got full access to the throughout the area. So this brings us up to the pool area. We have a small grill area. Of course, I have a few fish and rods, but um, you've got everything here that you need. Brand new grill, fish loungers, pool is heated pool. So heat it. Uh, yep, electric heat on the pool. Very simple. It warms up very fast um, when we install that. So we've got a nice dining room seat area. I think the time of year here, I had some family in and out, and we've pretty much eaten out here at the out table here. pretty much the whole time. Uh, whether nice. we grilled something or whether Thanksgiving we had out here, the weather was just absolutely beautiful. So, made it very simple. Um, come out here. 
got, uh, like I said, mentioned access, direct access, three points. You've got the, the bathroom, you've got the two bedrooms that you have direct access to, the master and the major guest. Major, yep. And then from here, you have a uh, boat dock that I'll have at some point in time bring my boat down. Um, the whole area from that standpoint, you've got the whole back, which is pretty significant, along the sides also, where you have pool heaters at and the remaining of your pool equipment. So it makes it very simple. It's a pretty streamlined home. You get what we want. Everything's enclosed in the screen. So uh, very, very nice. Uh, it was a great build. And uh, you guys did a great job by giving me all the videos, you know, and everything that was getting done. Um, the pool's been fantastic. I've only been in it a couple times, but yeah. uh, this one I wanted it up. But overall, it's just, the house it's is beautiful. It's, it's brand new. It's all set up. Um, at some point in time, I'll put in a master grill whole setup and design with a bar area there probably sometime next summer okay. uh, just based on the limitations of what we've had to try to get everything ready yeah. furniture back orders things of that nature we were able to get everything in a timely manner i think the only thing we're missing is the laundry room or the laundry room yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go up we'll to go the mudroom as we get to the garage it's really the three car garage <laughs> also wow so, you did a fantastic job furnishing everything yeah. Getting everything set was kind of a little bit, with everything being back in those kind of, kind of I hard, know. We got everything that we need to. It was great that you guys were sending videos so we could have an idea of what we wanted What you fire. needed, right. We had to move all of a lot of furniture we had to move here versus buy it locally because of so much back Back so much. You have a very large mudroom with the washer and dryer, which we'll get to in a second. Of course, the double doors we didn't talk about when you walked in. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, Make it easier to bring stuff in and out. Absolutely. <laughs> your mud room is pretty simple. You've got an extra fridge and freezer in here. You've got your, you know, top, bottom washer and dryer. Um, anything you need to kind of put stuff where it needs to be. So it's kind of easy access to what we want to do. You want to keep your your, um, your clean supplies outside, inside, or in the garage. Yeah. There's a couple different ways you can do things, you know, stuff like that. And an extra board. refrigerator comes extra handy. Refrigerator. Yeah. Always. I haven't even used it. <laughs> Never. It's, 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 Got more fingerprints just from opening it up and things of that nature, but really haven't had to do much of that since the short period of time that we've been here. I know. Um, and then, of course, we'll go up to the garage. It's a three car garage. And uh, I've got stuff that I'm going to bring back home when I drive back home, but pretty much set up. And the one thing that I'll do here is I'll talk to the floor sometime next time I want to back. Or beforehand. It all depends timing wise. But. Overall, a very big place. Like I said, you guys gave me the view of everything we had, so when we were setting things up or looking at things to set up, it was very simple. Because you guys did the videos for us every Sunday uh, once we signed the contract, so it was very simple for us to kind of figure out what we wanted to do and then try to find everything we needed to have. So that yeah, was a big benefit for you guys. I know. To help right? me out like that, so. We thank you for trusting us yeah. with that, and it was, um, it was a pleasure to work with you. We're still here if you need yeah. anything, and if you guys need to find a home just like this or any other home, you can always call us at 239-410-7372. Renata and Luis Menendez, and it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for showing Thank your you. beautiful you, home. You guys it's, did a great job getting everything ready for me. The closing was simple and uh, inspection was simple. Everything we kind of knew beforehand, and that was a great thing you guys were going in through uh, on the Sunday walkthrough, and you guys seen stuff. You talked to the builder. Oh yeah, we tried uh, to address it right away. Right yeah. away, which was, even better than having to wait, there was only a few minor things that after the inspection that had to be fixed because yep. you guys were doing it through the process over a five, six week period of time as, as it was, the finish of the bill was happening. That's so. why we're here, but thank Great. you so much.